So Darling Buds Clinic is also now in Mumbai. In this video, I will answer a few questions and I will also show the procedure of hair transplant that we follow while doing hair transplant in Mumbai. Ever since we opened uh, Darling Buds Mumbai, we have been inundated by several questions. Questions like, do you do hair transplants also in Mumbai or you do only consultations? What is the cost of a hair transplant at Darling Buds in Mumbai? Is the price of hair transplant in Mumbai higher than that in Chandigarh? Is hair transplant in Mumbai carried out at Lokhandwala or Juhu or Bandra? So we have been operating in Lokhandwala, Andheri West for quite some time now. Our clinic is very easily accessible by road and metro. It is just 30 minutes away from the international airport. Since we already have a large client base from Mumbai and especially from the film industry Bollywood, our hair transplant clinic in Mumbai shall for now cater to our existing hair transplant clients. And for those of you who may be suspicious that this may be a clinic on franchise, let me allay your anxiety. We continue to abide by our motto, one doctor, one patient, one clinic. And that is our core philosophy at Darling Buds, Darling Buds Mumbai, as well as Darling Buds Chandigarh. The whole core team of Darling Buds shifts to Mumbai when we have a client on whom we are doing hair transplant in Mumbai. There is no hair transplant being done in Chandigarh simultaneously on that day. We at Darling Buds Clinic have devised set protocols of care, of procedure and follow-up and they are cast in stone. They may though vary individually since some patients have specific requirements and clinical challenges may be encountered from case to case. But on the whole, the procedure we follow from consultation to the hair transplant process and then the follow-up remains unaltered. Our technique, the Anagen Q Plus technique is an improvement upon the modified DHI technique. And since this technique gives consistently good results in my clients, I am both uncomfortable and suspicious with any deviations from my set practice. So the procedure that we follow in Chandigarh is the procedure we follow while doing a hair transplant in Mumbai. The first step in the whole process of hair transplantation is consultation and planning. The patient's health status is assessed through lab investigations and meticulous history taking. His level of uh, baldness is evaluated and the donor supply is critically determined. Through a long discussion, both online and in person, the patient's goals and objectives from what he or she wants to achieve through hair transplant is brought out. And if the expectations are higher than what we can feasibly deliver through a hair transplant procedure, given his situation, we attempt to reset these goals and objectives. Also, the patient's hormonal profile is determined. So we can make a holistic plan involving both hair transplant and medical treatment if the condition so desires. We at Darling Buds Clinic have never pressurized a patient into doing a hair transplant procedure forthwith. His need to be left alone to do the research independently is respected as he asks more questions from us, maybe from other competitor clinics. And this is very natural. The patient has to be at ease with your practice and only once he has established a good working relationship, a comfort zone with you, will he sign up. A well-informed patient is a better client in the long run than a patient who has been enticed into a hair transplant procedure through cheap allurements like deep discounts and other miscellaneous pressure tactics to sign up fast, as you all know. A protracted engagement of the patient both online and in person also allows you to read the patient's mind. Since most patients are emotionally charged, emotionally charged due to their hair loss. It upsets them a lot. For hair loss is not only an aesthetic impairment, it also affects the psychological well-being in most young men 
due to failure to reconcile to changing body image, due to a receding hairline and thinning of hair elsewhere. A consultation a day before the procedure is essential, essential in my practice at least, because this uh, gives the patient enough time to go over the plan, think over the hairline that was drawn, knowing fully well that his baldness is going to progress and he has to leave room for future procedures if his baldness is not yet stable. A consultation a day before the procedure also allays the patient's anxiety on the day of the procedure. He feels he is not being rushed into the procedure, rushed into a hairline and a plan which he may be uncomfortable with later because it was a hasty decision. Since once the plan is made, the hairline is determined, the die is cast. It is very difficult to undo a procedure. On the morning of the procedure, the plan is explained to the patient once again. The hairline is again drawn and when the patient and the doctor are on the same page, the patient is taken for hair trimming and antiseptic wash of the scalp. He then enters the surgery room. Our operation theatre rooms, both in our hair transplant clinic in Chandigarh and hair transplant clinic in Mumbai, are equipped with all life-saving measures. We leave no stone unturned in our effort to providing a safe environment for hair transplant with the best patient safety standards. We consider that our operation rooms are better equipped than many in the Western world. An anesthetist is always in attendance to monitor the patient during the procedure. So then I proceed to administer local anesthesia and the local anesthesia that we use is lidocaine. This is almost always well tolerated by the patient. I then proceed to extract the grafts. I do not believe in the extended safe zone since I aim at getting only anagen grafts with good growth potential. Grafts that will last longer. Hence my graft number from the best scalp donor is considerably lesser than what other clinics offer or routinely deliver. To be noted here is that after coring, coring the grafts, the grafts are left in place in the scalp to derive and thrive in nutrition through the plasma surrounding them without any stress on their metabolism. This considerably lessens the out of body ischemia time for these grafts. After the coring process is over, the grafts are quickly extracted and returned into holding solution. They are then sorted out under microscope, cleaning of the grafts and sorting of the grafts is done. In most cases, the harvesting process takes one to two hours for up to 3,500 grafts. And once the harvesting is complete, the hairline is drawn once again. I then uh, proceed to numb the hairline and the temple points, after which the patient is given a short break while the anesthesia takes effect. I use the sapphire precision blade to make these slits. High density can only be achieved with the sapphire precision knife. The plantation led by Dr. Akanksha Bhatti starts soon after and in one to two hours, mostly it is complete. We use a disposable implanter pen, which is our in-house fabrication for plantation. Once the plantation is over, the patient rests for a while and then he returns home or to the hotel where he's staying. So that was about the procedure we follow, the procedure we follow in hair transplant clinic in Mumbai and hair transplant clinic in Chandigarh. It is essentially the same procedure that we've been following for some years now. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you very soon as we discuss this patient's hair transplant result in Mumbai. So we are in Mumbai every month for two weeks. If you are in Mumbai and have hair loss or balding issues and wish to seek a consultation, this is our address. And you can contact us on phone or on WhatsApp on either of the two numbers provided to fix an appointment for an in-person consultation. If you think that there was some information that is missing, you just have to drop a comment in the comment section below and I'll soon get back to you with an answer. The description box below has much more information about my hair transplant clinic in Mumbai. So see you in my hair transplant clinic in Lokhandwala, Mumbai and may God bless you.